So in this specific video, we are going to understand how to pass the data from your flow to your Apex class. But before we get started, if you have any upcoming interview, then you can have a one to one mock interview with me by clicking on the top right link below. So let's get started. So I already I have done few things. What I have basically done is that uh, what my specific goal is that I will get all the contacts. I will store all the names of all the contacts and I will pass the, those only specific names to the Apex class. Okay, so that's what our goal is. So right now what I have already done is I have uh, used the get records where I am trying to get all the contacts that are available. Okay, so I have no condition at all and then I select all records and then whatever contacts that I am getting, I am storing it inside this variable called as get all contacts list. Okay, I have queried ID and last name and next then I have used a transform. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I have created a, 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 a transform named as ma map contact names and here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to map get all context list out of that. I'm trying to map this last name to this variable map context name. Okay, and next thing what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to show that map context name. Okay, so what I've done is I've got all the contacts. I've stored their names inside map, map context name. I'm, I'm showing on the screen. Okay, so if I debug right now. And if I run just bluntly, it will show me all the names of all the contacts available within my system. Okay. Now my goal is to pass the same names to the Apex class itself. Okay. So for the same reasons, what I've done is I have created an Apex class named as Inv Apex. Okay. Basically, it's just an invocable Apex. Now, if ever, if you want to pass the data from the flow to your Apex class. Okay. So you have to first of all create an invocable method. Okay, and it should be public static. Uh, if you want, it can have any return type. Right now, I don't want any return type, so I will select void. Okay, let's say invocable method. I will name it as invocable method for now. Okay, next thing is that I'm going to give some label to it, and the label will be my invocable apex. Right now, once that is done. What I want to do is this is just a blunt apex, right? I'm not passing any data inside it. So it's just a blunt apex. It's, it, I can call it, but still I'm, I won't be able to pass any data inside this method. Now, if I want to pass the data to this method, then I, either I need to create a parameter. So usually what people do is they will create a list of names, list of string. And I will say name list. Okay, because I am going to pass the list of name from the apex class or the flow. Okay, and then I will loop for or let's say I'm just going to system or debug the name list okay as simple as that so what I've done is I've created an invocable method and it has a list of string name list so that it can accept the list of names from that flow and it's just going to print it okay so let me save it right now quickly and let's reload this so that I have this invocable apex available at my end so i'm going to pull the actions and over here i'm going to search my invocable apex that is named as my invocable apex so my invocable apex okay i'll say calling invocable apex and here next thing i need to pass the parameter that is the name list that i have okay so if i select over here and if i want to pass the name list or whatever the collection i have done okay uh, if i try to show it right now see whatever names i'm going to collect it's specifically going to store inside map contacts name and if you see right now i'm just showing the same names on the screen as well now i need to pass the same list of names to my apex class as well okay so if you want to do that what i need to do is i need to enable the name list and i directly need to pass this map or the the variable that i created right uh, the transform variable that i created but if you see right now, I won't have it available inside my options at all. Okay, if I try to do search with map or anything like that, I won't find anything at all. Okay, even if you go ahead and create a new resource, I can say passing data. And if you keep the data type as record, and you can keep the data type as uh, record type as contact, allow multiple allow for input available for input output let's say and let's click on done still that parameter that you created name list parameter that you created it won't accept that kind of variable okay this is the mistake most of the people do okay that's why i am trying to highlight it over here 
so even though name list is a parameter and its data type is list it still won't be able you still won't be able to pass the list of string a list of anything over here okay even if i create a list of string it still won't take it okay only if it's a singular variable like if i create a, a name variable its data type is let's say text okay and i'll click on done only this kind of variable it will be able to take but if you think about it it's no use right i want to pass all the names okay if i'm trying to do something like this i have to apply a loop over here okay i mean if i break it from here whatever names that i'm going to get from this map contact names i have to loop over one by one and then i have to pass it to the invocable apex if i am only able to pass a singular variable and this means that i have to call the apex inside a for loop which is a big no no right we don't do it inside the apex as well so the question is how do i pass the list of names to the apex class okay how do i do it so the problem over here is that your method or the variable that you have created this is not exposed to the flow yet okay it's it's exposed to the flow as a parameter but it's not exposed to the flow as a, as a list or as an invocable variable okay and for that reasons you have to create a wrapper class okay so i'll go and create a wrapper class public class wrapper class and i will create it at the rate invocable variable and then i'm going to mention this name list over here and inside the parameter i am going to take list of wrapper class as the parameter okay and from that wrapper list you can specifically go and get the name list okay so what i have specifically done is that i have created a wrapper class okay let's okay it's not public yet sorry yeah so you need to create a wrapper class okay which will have a variable specifically a variable whichever parameter that you have to take okay you have to take list of names right so list of names and then you have to keep this wrapper class as your parameter inside the method itself and then from that wrapper list of zero that is the zeroth index i am trying to fetch the name list okay so the problem here was i was not able to pass list of names over here so if i now reload this page quickly and now i will again try to pull the invocable apex so it was named as my invocable apex okay i'll say calling invocable apex and now when i select the name list previously i was not getting any options at, at all right so i was not getting the list of options uh, that is collection variables that we created like map of uh, uh, one second this variable i was not getting in the option map contact names right i should have got it in the option but still i was not getting it so if i now include it i will get that as in the option okay because the name list that i created now is an invocable variable and now as you define the data type it will be exposed as it is to your flow okay so right now i can see it as a list and i can directly pass the list the map contact name is nothing but a list of names right so it directly is going to pass the list of names to this name list okay if you want you can loop over for string s colon i will say s right now if i am going to run the flow let me clear the logs okay if i am going to run this flow let me first connect this both i should be able to get a debug over here which will show me all the names that are available if i run it now okay so if you see if i just double click on it because it's the size of this is higher so if i double click on it i can see all the names so basically what happened right now over here is i pass the data from your flow the list of names from the flow okay to your apex class that you created
ओके बाय क्रिएटिंग अ रैपर क्लास सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन पास द डेटा फ्रॉम योर फ्लोस टू योर एपेक्स क्लास इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल